How's it going, everyone? In this guide, this is the ultimate FPS boost guide for Valorant in 2024. In this video, we're going to be covering absolutely everything you need to know and do to your game to ensure that you have the lowest input latency, the best overall FPS, the smoothest gameplay experience alongside some quality of life settings that you should be enabling to ensure that you have the highest competitive advantage. For the minimap size, I'd recommend keeping it as high as possible. It's also recommended to lower the minimap zoom to a level with which you're happy. You want to have at least three-fourths of it, if not the entire map, visible inside of the minimap at all times. This ensures that you can know where all of your teammates are quickly and easily, and you can gather information without having to go to different parts of the map or relying on VOIP. Rotate and Fixed is a complete personal preference. Key player centered is also personal preference, but you may be able to get away with a lower zoom if you turn Key Player Centered off because the minimap center point will not be relative to your current player's location. It is also worthwhile going through the privacy options to match your personal preference. You can never be too safe these days, so ensure that you set these up to something with which you're comfortable. We're also navigating over to the video tab, display mode. In nearly all cases, you should be set to full screen unless you're utilizing a custom resolution. I'd recommend setting this to your monitor's native resolution and the highest refresh rate available within it. Make sure that you select the highest refresh rate here because if you don't, you could be giving up performance. Limit FPS in menus. I'd actually set down to 60 because you don't need it to be higher than that. Limit FPS in the background. I'd keep it on and leave this at 30. Limit FPS always. We're currently going to be setting to your monitor's refresh rate or a value where you can achieve stable FPS. For reflex low latency for those of you on NVIDIA GPUs, set this to on plus boost. And now it's time to go over to graphics quality. In here, you've guessed it, if you want to go with low presets or low settings, you're going to get a huge FPS boost. And because it's not particularly graphically dense or a heavy game for this reason, regardless of whether you're using a super low end esports specific budget PC all the way up to a high end PC, you want to have the following multi threaded rendering set to on, material quality set to low, textures to low, details low. UI quality low, Vignet off, VSync off. Even if you're planning on utilizing a G Sync or Free Sync setup, VSync needs to be turned off inside of the game. Anti aliasing, MSAA 2X is going to give you the best results in terms of performance and visuals. If that still looks too bad, you could go with MSAA 4X. Alternatively, if you need every ounce of performance possible and you simply can't go with no anti aliasing, Antisotrophic filtering set this to 1x. Improve clarity. We're going to be leaving this to off. Experimental sharpening off. Bloom can make some effects and skins inside of the game just have a bit more vibrancy and look a bit more polished, but it will come with an FPS loss. Go with off for best performance or turn this on if you want some detail in skins and effects. Distortion set to off. Cast shadows off. Casting shadows off does not give a competitive disadvantage. This does not have anything to do with shadows coming off of playable characters. You won't be able to see people from around corners inside of Valorant if you have shadows turned on or off. For those of you that are still not happy with their overall FPS, a few last tips that I can recommend are first of all, go to the bottom right hand side, click the task icon tray and start right clicking and closing out any of the applications you do not need open when playing Valorant. My main and most important tip for those of you looking for better performance from Windows optimizations in 2024 is honestly to utilize a fresh Windows 11 install. Windows 11 has come a long way and has so many useful features now. If you're on Windows 10, I would highly recommend the upgrade. And if you're on Windows 11 and have been on it for a long time, consider just doing a complete wipe of your system. Obviously, make sure that you triple check that everything is backed up, everything that you can possibly think of. Please triple check. A few last options that you should definitely make sure that you're utilizing, even if you're on a fresh install or not, are go back to the settings, go to gaming, go to game mode, and make sure this is on. This optimizes your PC for gaming by disabling processes and services, which should improve FPS. Open settings, go to gaming, go to game bar, and disable it. This automatically opens and launch with Windows and can cause FPS drops. Let me know in the comments if this helps and if I should continue making these videos. Also, share your tips with me. Peace.